Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create an organic chair in Maya. Alright, so this is what is the final output that you would be creating. Uh, I found this chair by searching organic chair. Alright, so most of these are similar. So I found this image and we are trying to create something similar to this. Alright, in Maya. So let us see how this can be done. So we'll go to file, new scene, we'll save this chair, okay, some issue happened, so I'll go to file, save scene as, desktop, just quickly save this one, okay, so file, new scene, and we'll create a cube, alright. And I will move the cube above, all right, somewhere there. So if you go to the channel box, poly cube, we need to add subdivision. So you can click on this text here and click and drag in the viewport. Okay, so we create two segments each for the cube. So that's the first step. And then we'll go to right click go to face mode and I'm going to delete half of it all right delete key on the keyboard because we will model half the chair and then we will mirror it so I'll select the top part bottom part front part front part this part and this part okay so I'm modeling this part of the chair so I got this part, I got this part, and I got this part. Now we'll extrude this part here. Okay, so you can see that we got this much done. So I'll go to edge mode, select this, shift select this, and then we'll extrude it out and then scale it in. So we got the handle. Alright, once the handle is done, I there is a hole here so we need to create a hole so I'll go to face mode select this face and shift and scale down that will create a new extrusion and I will simply scale it inside and then delete on the keyboard I will delete this face also so we got the hole now I'll go to vertex mode, select these two vertices and in the front view wireframe somewhere. Okay, here I can see it and I will make it straight. All right. So we got our hole. Now you can see that uh, our cube is made up of these faces and the faces have normals which are facing outwards and these are the inside facing normals. That's why they are black. So we will look at how to fix those normals uh, in a short while. Now our chair again has a curved opening. So this one moves down. Okay, so that creates the curve. So now and then this is at an angle. Okay, so this vertex will move in. All right, so this is the basic uh, look. Uh, we will further uh, sculpt it later on. Now, what we need to do is we need to give this thickness. So I'll go to face mode, select all the faces scale and I'm going to shift and scale it inside okay so it creates thickness and it goes in various directions so first I will fix this direction okay then we will one by one fix all the directions so let us work in these different views go to shading wireframe mode 
and you need to understand what is exactly happening so this may take a little while so now this is flat okay so these are overlappings i'll select this one shift this one okay so this did not create any thickness so i'll move it up to create the thickness all right now let us go to vertex or edge for example this edge has to move up to match there then this control or shift shift this edge we will move it straight here Right, so these edges have to align so either you can do it in this view or you can try to find some other view okay you can also go to vertex and move this up so this is not straight you can make this straight so i can select both and scale them out so try to clean the geometry so now everything has thickness and everything looks like right okay you can watch it in perspective something is not right here so these edges control shift this edge to move out okay and then you can watch it here all right the other thing you can do is go to vertex mode select all these vertices scale so this becomes straight these things can be scaled horizontally or vertically like these these can be scaled so they become straight lines okay so everything looks clean now which so our object now has a thickness all over okay now we need to mirror it so what we will do is we'll go to face mode and select all these faces which are going to be uh, the area where the other half of the chair is going to get connected we'll delete those now what we need to do is fix the normals so anything that is black just select a few okay all right so these ones will go to mesh display reverse so they start getting visible so you just need to select all of these so select one by one go to face display and mesh display and reverse so anything that is black needs to be Reversed. Okay, this, this, and this. Mesh display reverse. So our chair should have faces with normals facing outwards. Mesh display reverse. Okay, so the entire chair now has faces facing outwards. This looks good now the next step is um, to mirror it okay uh, the other thing is I will hit the three key and now what happens is the edge here is quite thin okay we need a sharper thicker edge so what I'll do is I'll go to one again and we need to add more faces here okay more geometry so I can select this face shift this this and all these faces where I want thickness okay all these I'm again going to extrude the faces out. Okay. And then again, I need to fix those when I extrude them out. 
this face needs to align with this one okay this one let us look at it in another view make sure it is aligned okay so this one has to be aligned here looks good the top one needs to come straight right, where is this one this one is a little messed up Okay, so this is not looking good. So it's like this, and then move it in the other like this. So that gets fixed. So we create this thickness, and then again, now we got this face here. Put face, this one delete. Then we got this face here. To delete and then here go to vertex select all these vertices scale them straight okay so there's some issue with this vertex to, to come out here and then if you want that sharpness here as well so we can select the face this shift this shift this and shift and scale inside okay and then you can scale x y s you get thickness there as well then again in the front view you can fix these vertices vertex so this vertex has to be straight here this vertex has to be straight here And then this thickness can be properly worked with. Okay, and then it will create these two more faces which we don't need. This face will be deleted. This face will be deleted. Alright, so we got thickness all around. So when we hit the 3 key now. Now you have a nice thickness to the chair. Okay. So we'll go to object mode. Then we'll go to mesh mirror. Okay. And then you may have to change the negative to positive, Z to X, depending on what direction your chair is. So make sure that you do that to get the the right mirror direction. All right. So now once this is done, we can further go to sculpt the chair. Now this this part has to go back. So we create the curvedness. All right. This part can come up. This part can go down. Okay. Then this area or the entire one can scale out. Okay. Then this one will come in the front. So we're just adding some
sculpting our chair and then to see the final result. So if you think that the overall chair is flat, you can go to object mode and then scale the chair up so it gets some depth. So you can see that now we have a lot of these, so you can go to edit, delete by type, history. So get rid of all the modifications that we did. And now you have a nice organic chair. We go to mesh, smooth. And the divisions are two, you can make it three. Make it look nice and smooth. Okay. And then we'll right click, add new material, Lambert, and then Edit, delete by type, history, numbered, make it a red color. Okay. So we got that part done. I did this real fast so you can tweak it a little better, maybe extrude this a little bit more so it doesn't have all that sharp edge. But we'll model the leg now. So the leg is a cube. We'll go to channel box and we'll use 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and height maybe looks okay. Uh, and then height segment I'll use 3. Okay, so if you make it 3, sharp. Vertex, select these vertices scale them out then go to face select this face and delete it okay overall the chair is uh, the leg is quite thick so i'll make it thinner and then we will select vertex the bottom one will scale it inside Okay, so if the bottom is narrower than the top. Object mode. I deleted this face, right? So mesh, smooth this. Two is good enough. So we got the chair leg. Now this chair leg needs to have its pivot on top. Okay, so let us move this and double click and go to edit pivot. We go to front view. Okay, click on edit pivot and move, move it on top. Okay, now that this can that can touch the chair, shading wireframe. This chair looks slightly elongated, so you can scale it. So this leg now will move it one leg here. Control D, Shift, so that the other leg let us select like this. And then shift and move it. Control D and move it. So you get four legs. So 
just have to okay, so let us make sure that the whole thing is sitting on the ground. And then this thing can go inside the leg. Select the legs, right click, assign new material, Lambert, make it that way. Alright, so we will select this one, go to channel box, and we have to rotate this 10 degrees. So minus 10. It has to go out. This one is 10 and then minus 10. We have to find out the right angle so it goes that way and that way. Okay. So this will be 10. That is correct. This will be 10 minus 10. By the way. Okay, same with this, 10 in the front, ten in the right. Ten minus ten. Then this one is 10, then we got the chair done. Alright, so that's about it. You got your organic chair made in Maya. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Bye bye.